Joining me now, RNC spokeswoman Kaylee McEnany, along with David Bonson, founder and CIO of the Bonson Group, also author of Crisis of Responsibility. He's also a National Review contributor. Kaylee, let me start with you. President Trump lived it. Uh, he's, he, he was on this last week, obviously on his mind over the holiday weekend, and uh, came out guns blazing. Absolutely, he did. And as he should, this is something we need to take a hard look at. You know, the U.S. Postal Services have lost money over the last 11 years, $2.7 in the whole last year. And we know that they have lost money on parcels. And these deals with companies are shrouded in secrecy, not even subject to FOIA requests. So, you know, let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at this deal that Amazon gets. Is it a sweetheart deal? That's the question. You know, David, uh, Amazon cut the deal in, in 2013 with the post office, which was losing billions at the time. Uh, and the dynamics have changed. It's possible they underestimated just how much work was going to go into these Sunday deliveries. And, and, and again, we don't know the exact details of the deal. At least I tried to find it and I couldn't. I went through a lot of their filings. What do you make of it, uh, of this whole thing? Well, I think that if Amazon were to be voluntarily helping the post office do their job to help the post office receive higher funds and Amazon shareholders less, they would violate their fiduciary duty. They're doing absolutely nothing wrong by trying to get the best deal they can for their company and shareholders, which is what all of us who adhere to private enterprise believe in. The reality is the post office has lost money in virtually every year it's ever been in existence. That's a fact. Federal Express and UPS don't have losing years. So why is that? We believe the profit motive works. This isn't a story about Amazon. It's a story about the post office, government bureaucracy, so government inefficiency. Let me ask you, should the post office, because there is a, a stipulation uh, that the post office can't undercut FedEx or UPS. Correct. So they can't compete uh, in a competitive world where they are losing market share. Should we change that? Should, should they allow the post office, <laughs> after billions of dollars yeah. of U.S. investments, to invest, to invest or just to die in a vine? Uh, well, it's a, it's a false dilemma, I think, Charles. I don't think that they have to die on the vine. I think that they can sell off the profitable aspects that work, that there are buyers who want to have that piece of their infrastructure. But fundamentally, the issue here is that it's not in any deal that's ever been made. The problem is that lacking a profit motive, it's a bad business. They're trying to be a business without a profit motive. It doesn't work. Federal Express, UPS, other privatized forms of parcel delivery don't just make a profit. They make billions of dollars of profit. They can't undercut on overnight delivery, but they do, they do with no time guarantee, 48 cents or whatever it is. They can't even make money with a total monopoly on that delivery. It's insane. You know, Kaylee, uh, President Trump trying to bring sort of a, a more business-minded approach to these sort of deals. Uh, Congress, of course, has written all of these deals uh, from the 2013 deal to the ability to, that, that says to, to the post office, you can't compete with companies that are actually competing with you. Is there a chance to change all of that? And if, if that were the case, would that sort of level the playing field for small mob paw shops who are at a distinct disadvantage to Amazon? No doubt about it. And that's his goal. You know, he wants to look at this as a businessman. He wants to make this effective. And that's why he's putting the spotlight on the post office. It's why he's putting a spotlight on Amazon. He wants mom and pop shops to be able to compete. But Charles, you know, you mentioned Congress. That is where the answer lies. Congress can make a real difference here. You know, I say that we get an inspector general to look into this because you mentioned not being able to find that deal between the post office and Amazon. And there's a reason for that because it's not even subject to FOIA requests. So literally, there are these deals and the American taxpayer is in the dark about it. So right. we need an IG and we need Congress to make some changes. Real quickly, David, uh, they're floating around the idea of an internet sales tax. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, no, as a conservative Republican, I'm opposed to new taxes. Period. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you both very much.